In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of your recent files here in Adobe Illustrator. But first, I'm going to be honest with you. Illustrator doesn't have a good way of doing this. There's a hack around method to delete individual files, and there's a way to just not show recent files. So first off, let's look at the hack around method, because this is a way to actually delete recent files. So I have this recent file. The first one was a JPEG that I had opened, contact form, whatever. So to get Illustrator to delete this, what I would do is go to the Finder window, and I would change the name of this file. Maybe just add a V2 on the end of it. Once I change the name of the file, Illustrator is not going to know where that file is. So it's going to say it doesn't exist, and we can hit OK. Now it doesn't go anywhere. Photoshop, it actually deletes it. But now if we delete or exit out of Illustrator, by going up to Illustrator, down to Quit Illustrator. So we actually are quitting Illustrator, and then we're gonna reopen it, open it back up. Because it couldn't find that file, it's going to delete it from the list. You'll notice that it moves other files in place of it. So that JPEG file that I had originally here is no longer there. You can do that with any of these objects or any of these, uh, or any of these files. Just go rename them, and Illustrator won't be able to find it to open it. Now, that's kind of a hack around method that you individually have to do that. It's not a very good option. The other thing you could do is if you just don't want to see recent files, go up to Illustrator Preferences. So on Mac, it's going to be Illustrator dropdown, Windows, probably the Edit dropdown. And then we're going to go down to File Handling. And instead of here, we can select the number of recent files to display. We can actually change that to zero and hit OK. And now Illustrator will not display any recent files. At first, I thought maybe you could go back to file or back to your preferences and go in here and go to file handling and change it back, and then it would be blank again, right? But if we select 10 and press OK, it looks like it hasn't appeared. But we close Illustrator again and reopen it, and actually what happens is our old recent files, or whatever our most recent files are, populate again into this list. So really, you would want to keep that on zero if you don't want to show any recent files or just rename a few of these and then exit Illustrator and come back and it will remove them from the list. That's the best way right now to delete recent files here in Illustrator.